Meh, it's a wet and rainy, boring day outside. Not very much fun. Hello guys, how are you doing? It's Friday and chilling right now and yeah, I'm just waiting for Paul to come home. He's been up at, uh, well, he's been at work and then he's been at the hospital for some x-rays. Um, because you know he got a very, very bad back, he had two very large operations on it. Which hasn't helped at all and they don't really want to operate anymore, but he's still got a lot of severe pain. Um, so he's on extreme strong medication every day just to get by. Um, but now also he went to the doctor yesterday and they think that maybe he got something like trapped nerves in his neck. Um, and they're going to check that out to have a look and see maybe if... Whoa, squeaky chair. Maybe he needs some chiropractics or whatever. So that is um, getting exciting. Yeah, let's see if they can sort out something else. He probably will have some pain relief. Um, anyway, so yeah. Charging my GoPro because I'm trying to film um, a line that Nika did for me with Kendama. Uh, I almost had it, but it's one of those where you have to like tap the tamer with the hand and it's like really hard it hurts I can try and show you what it basically is so Rosie is just gonna be my camera tarantula right now and what the trick is you like one two and uh, three and just slap back like that but those slaps this wooden ball here it hurts and I can't use my fingers for it for some reason so you like one two three tap and then when you tap it down you have to tap it on the other side as well so it's a double tap so like and then you that's how to swing around. Then it goes over here on the inside. Do a space walk. And when you catch the space walk, which is spin from here, it has to do a one turn spike, and then you have to go up and catch it and spike it again. I've been very close, so I don't know. Oh, that was wrong. I have to start with the Ken. See, so yeah, it's ow, it just hurts. It just hurts. And then it's supposed to be out, but uh, I'll have to tomorrow to do it, but it's just, you can hear that, bam, and it's right on, on the bones in your hand, it's like so painful. And I just can't do it, probably. Ah, if I got it there, I'll be happy. Ow. Yeah, you've just been for a walk. Yeah, Paul took her out, but it's like wet outside everywhere, so they were quite wet when they came back. Um, I didn't go with them because my cold is still not completely good. Um, so I'm afraid that I'm gonna have a relax. Oh, whatever. Um, we're heading up to do a bit of shopping now. I'm going to a store called Aldi, which is a German store, but actually is in Denmark, definitely. Oh, my GoPro finished charging, that's good. So I can switch off the charger and disconnect the GoPro. And the cable. There we go. So yeah, um, I will be playing some Counter Strike shortly. Um, it's wet outside. Nothing really more to do. And I haven't got anything else. I missed my workshop, so I'll be able to go out and do something. Uh, I don't know why I'm tired. Um, oh, this guy was interested in buying this, but I haven't heard back from him yet. So uh, we'll see. Alright guys, since it's been a while since I've done anything regarding fingerboarding and I know you guys like to see that or some of you definitely do um, I fished out this old box I had here, which I keep all my fingerboard stuff in um, There's also scooter sticker on, Kendama sticker, Kendama sticker, I said it again, Skate Pro sticker, which is a skate shop, I've got scooters as well But let's have a look at this and see what's in there, because I haven't seen it for a long time We have a lot of things, the first thing I see here is some of these clamps I used to use for when I make molds and business cards of mine. Yay! An old one. The same ones I got. I got my little files. These are the ones I use to help me like make holes and just correct the holes and look all nice. So yeah. Got a handful of bit tools down here. A whole lot of them. Yeah. Then we got in here, I got a deck from um, from, um, oh, what's the name? It's from Ara, um, which has primitive decks. This is like an, an old school pool shape, which is really nice ball shape as well. It's really nice, I like it. And this is like a spray on graphics, so that's so cool. I really look after it. 
so that's why it's still wrapped. And it's stuff like I would never use, I would just keep it as a collection. Next compartment here, we've got some different stuff. Oh, some old graphics. Oh, my rainbow, some of you probably remember that. And my silly decks, my rainbow skull. That one, the old silly decks. And this one here, which has never really probably been released. There's only like one deck, it's all of those. One or two, maybe three, I can't remember. Got some cheap pivot cups, glittering. And my homemade Jack from, um, it looks like Jack from um, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And what it is actually is just a fingerboard holder. So if you have a fingerboard here, you can either put this on the table like so, and you can put your deck in there. It'll stay there. Oh, sorry. Well, normally it will. If you've got grips in one, it will stay like that. Or you can hang it on the wall and you can just pop your deck in there like so. Or even so. This is basically how I want it to be, but yeah, this is like a hole that I made myself, just out of clay. So, yeah, this is like some of my old made decks. Also got some skate stops and an old tech deck. Yeah. But then here, this is one of my old decks, one of the first ones I made. And it's got a crack in the middle because someone said to me, I uh, dare to break it, so I snapped it uh, and I glued it back together. And it's like really, probably still very good. And yeah, very high kicks though. So that's one of them. Then I have another deck here of mine, another deck, they're not clear colors, they're just decks I made and never finished, like that one there, it's kind of, it hasn't even got holes, but it got the CTFXC graphic on it, keeping that, and one of my old split plies I never finished, got rough edges and all that, didn't bother sending that out, there's another one for a guy who won that, but um, I never got his address, so, got a nice shine to it, so that's also just kept there, Another blank, but this is one got like some, like silver layers in it. It didn't really work well. Another blank and another blank. These are basically templates from my old mold. And then here I got like four of these little tops here with various screws and stuff. So I need that right there. And here I got some um, life fingerboards, wax. This is like an, a brand new one I never used. Uh, it was so nice and got. Hasn't got much of the vanilla smell back. I actually got two of those. See, yeah. And then I got this piece of wax. I can't remember who gave it to me, but it's like a clear piece of wax. So yeah, that's what I got in there. And over here, more screws or something like that. And then actually, a real skateboard screws. So I don't know why I kept those in here, but maybe there must be a reason for that. Then over here, some of these dentist stuff where I got like some bolts and some drills and stuff in. Haven't really put anything in there, but. There is something, screws. Yeah. Then I got this here, a wheel box. Um, in here I got some flat face, flat face, basically brand new. And uh, I got them aluminium wheels, can't remember which brand they are. And these like some, no, I think they're no name, like China ones, but they're really good bearings. And then two spare ones from some China brand. And then the original um, bushing kit for my Black River trucks. Um, but I need new paper cups before I can start right again. There's two pieces of um, granite, which was for a bench, and then I got some of the um, life fingerboard bricks, which I got for life fingerboards. Tiny bricks. I have like four of the tiny bricks. Then I got two half bricks, and then I got three of these pieces here. Um, if I can get them out like this, triangle pieces. Yeah. All right. Let's go up to some of the other decks then. All right, let's start here. Here we got a rainbow ply, and I had this. I can't remember the name, but it has a W on it, and uh, it's really nice and extremely high kicks. Uh, but it looks really cool, and the concave is very deep. I really like it. I think it's made um, really well, really nice. So yeah, and they also gave me this one. Oops, sorry, I haven't written them because I just want to keep them. This nice raster one, and it even has raster plies in the middle. The same brand, and they gave me this one as well. Which is like super wood, and I love the clear coat. It's so shiny. How we done that? It's like so cool. But yeah, really cool decks. Very high kicks. Then here's my mustache deck. You probably remember that when I like did this. <laughs> it's one of my old decks. It's really really long, like very long fingerboards. It was something I was testing out to see how long fingerboards might be better. Um, this here is an old deck I had from um, uh, what's the name? Danish company Love Drug fingerboards. Yeah, he gave that to me. These two here, actually, I never used this one here, but I used the other one, the black one, because it's so nice. Unfortunately, the color faded a lot. I had an old one with Love Drug stick on it, but it's so nice. Black plies and a red ply in the middle. So 
You know, Miguel gave that to me. This one is cool because it got two colored middle plies. You see, red and black. Well, maybe you don't see, but this there. And this here is one I made myself, a large one, slightly larger than an average fingerboard. If I take a balloon wood, the old one, you can see how much bigger it is. And um, hold that together, <laughs> see? It's fairly large, but the thing is, this here is a flip from Ronick Liftberg, and he actually signed it. This is his signature, so that's some really cool stuff to have. I'm really happy about that. Yeah, so my Black River, which I have from CW Part 1, he doesn't really finger one anymore. Um, just got cheap dumb trucks on it and uh, some cheap bearings on it. Very, very thin Berlin wood deck, it's not very wide at all. I think it's a 29mm, uh, but it's cool. Um, it rides well. And then I have um, here from uh, my old sponsor. I was, used to be sponsored by Life Fingerboards. This is one of the decks. And this one is, I was actually riding quite a lot, even though it's so small. But I got my ICD rail here. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, this is like the only one is like very stiff. There's not much to it, but uh, it's, it's an alright deck. And I was happy with it. So, yeah. And then I have lastly here another deck of mine, which a graphic I found somewhere, which says I'm so gay, and it's a unicorn who poops out a rainbow. I think it's so cool. So this is the stuff which is in here. Then we got one little room left, which is here. This is more random fingerboards. This one here is one Sebastian made. It's so funny. I don't dare. To I don't want to throw it out because it's so funny. Um, because you can see you put like stickers on to try and make graphic. <laughs> And it's just peeling off, and the concave, it looks, I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just so funny. Um, it just made me laugh. It's like such a crooked deck, but it's, it's, it's a good memory of Sebastian giving that to me. He was so proud when he gave it, so yeah. I got this deck here at Fastfinger 16. A guy made it for me, which is really, really cool. I'm really happy about it. Um, it looks really good, good shape. I haven't ridden it because it's, again, stuff I want to keep for memory. And I traded this one, one of the guy who gave me that, he said I should have it, and he gave me this, and I gave him one of mine. Uh, then we have another live fingerboard, which is brand new, I haven't used it. Um, I'm just keeping that for memory as well. Nice, um, I, I, I think it's a split ply, but uh, some, of, uh, some of it looks like it's just painted, I'm not too sure. But uh, anyway, it's cool. And then I got a blank one of mine here, which I've never used. And then I have like a Berlin wood, which is signed by Timo Grant. Um, which I have from a guy called Christian Weiss again. So this is some fingerboard stuff I just thought I want to show you again. Just to see what I have. I got a lot more than this, but this is just what I just found. And I thought it was about time to maybe incorporate a little bit more fingerboarding in it. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what's in my little fingerboard box. Oh gosh, I'm so tired guys. I will probably go to bed now because I am so tired. And I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to the skate park and uh, I'm going to bring some my condemners and play with Lasse and I'm going to be scootering and uh, I'm probably going to bring my GoPro and try and see if I can film something show you guys something yeah I'll see you tomorrow guys peace hello like your new phone how are you trying to film with it like it's supposed to have very good slow motion 240 frames and 720p yeah if you don't get a hug